Welcome back to the show. Doc Tommy Scott calls himself the last of the old-time medicine men, it says here. He's been operating his sideshow cl close to... Excuse me. He's been operating his sideshow close to 50 years, selling cure-alls for everything from bunions to rheumatism. Uh, here he is now. Please welcome Doc Tommy Scott. <laughs> How are you, sir? Fine. How are you, David? Fine. Nice to see you. How long have you been uh, actually selling these things? Or uh, not you so much as medicine men. What's the history on a guy selling this stuff? David, it all started a little over 2,000 years ago. Uh, that was way back in China, where they first mixed together the different herbs, roots, barks, and berries. And then they sold it, of course, in England. Not real medicine shows, but they would mix up some concoctions and uh, do a little entertainment to draw a crowd, you mm -hmm. see. But they found then, when the settlers came to the States, they found uh, over in the Indian reservations that the old Indian medicine men were mixing all types of herbs, roots, barks, and berries, and it worked. Mm -hmm. You know, some of those old guys lived to be 110. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now then, show people got involved in it. Show and people. Show people mm -hmm. got involved, and they knew that you had to get a crowd together and so on. And the first real, uh, the first country musicians, the first country artists, I think, came from, uh, was really hired and paid by uh, medicine men. Mm -hmm. You know, they'd play in the, on the back porch on Sunday afternoon for free, and, uh, you know, they give away what they found out they learned later that they could sell, no. really. Now, this, this uh, pretty much, uh, uh, we don't have many of these guys left, not country western musician no. but medicine men right they're just about out in fact i'm the last real full-time operating medicine now let me that's what i want to know now when All you right. leave here tonight you'll go to a small town in new jersey and push this stuff is that the deal i go to texas i play 350 different towns per year and i've done it uh for almost 50 years yeah but different you, town every night but do you act you do you make your living selling this stuff yes or? oh yes yeah yes. and what and what kinds of stuff do you sell old doc chamberlain started my what is my show now uh, in 1890, and he put together some herbs, roots, barks, and berries he called Herbalac. Uh -huh. And uh, this was a tonic laxative. You could take one one spoonful, and it'd be pretty good. If you needed to really, really, really go pretty heavy, well, you took a couple of spoonfuls, you know. <laughs> and, uh, of course, that's the way. Now, the important thing was the doc himself, and that's D-O-C, not D-R. That's, that makes a difference? That makes a little difference, yes. Uh -huh. Now, the old medicine show docs would make a believer out of that audience. They'd get out there on the edge of that platform, and they would tell them what the herbs would do and, and what the different uh, uh, medicines and, and different roots, barks, and berries, mm -hmm. and so on would do. And they would tell it. It was a, a, almost a religion, the way they'd go uh, through the, with the pitch. And the people would actually believe it. And... 50% of it now, David, you can take the medical profession today, and if there's some guy goes in to have an operation and uh, he says, oh, I don't know whether I should or not, well, he probably wouldn't make it. But okay. if the doc said to him and talked to him more or less, uh, said, this is going to work. Right. And if he mentally got it, he said, get the, get the knife out and let's do the operation. He would yeah. come up for it. Now, Mental, what, what we have here is a bottle of something called um, snake oil <laughs> liniment. Yeah. That's s oil liniment is what that one is there. Uh -huh. This is... Uh, now, is this actually made from uh, snakes, uh, this uh, oil? No, no, no. Yeah. You had to... The old medicine show doctor had to It says here it's combustible. Is, uh, uh, <laughs> yes, you got to handle it a little bit carefully. Now, is, this, is there anything in here that would actually do you any good? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. it would. Yes, sir. Fifty percent of it was mental as to what the doc had put into your mind that way. But then this is a hot liniment. It's a rub on liniment to ease your aches and, and uh, muscles and, and uh -huh. tight muscles and sore aching back. The stuff would really work. Yeah. It actually would. Yes, sir. Hmm. A good rub on liniment is what this was. It's all liniment, and for short, but it's the basic, the old snake oil. You can go anywhere in the United States or Canada that I show with my show, and everybody, even the little kids, know about snake oil. Mm -hmm. But the only place you can buy a bottle of that snake oil is on Doc Tommy Scott's medicine show. Well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> will you be selling some after the show? Well, uh, we've got a pretty good crowd, even if it is a little snowy night. We might work the audience a little later here. Uh, yeah, I don't think, I think you'd have trouble. These folks seem <laughs> extra smart. I don't think you could sell them. <laughs> I don't think you can move much of this stuff tonight. Oh, they're uh, a nice looking bunch. Right? Uh, we're going to pause, but we'll be back. <laughs> We're just uh, about out of time, as they say in television, and uh, I want to thank everyone who was here, including the studio audience. What a wonderful group of folks to turn out on a night like this. Uh, also, my thanks to Jane Pauley, Don King, Doc Scott, who you're going to be hearing from in just a moment, and, of course, a special thanks to the late-night elves, 
<laughs> Peppy, Butch, and Calvert. <laughs> Paul Schaefer, Bill Window. Tomorrow night, uh, cast from the movie Quest for Fire, author Dick Schapp, Lenny Schultz, ladies and gentlemen, and our fabulous April 7th Day Parade. Here now is Doc Tommy. Hey, Scott. hey, look this way, Doc Tommy Scott's last real old-time medicine show. Now, if you're feeling down and out and you don't know what to do, it seems the world's done crushed you and your friends turned their back on you. Nature's pathway to health will help you. Try a bottle of the stuff today and take it as it's plainly directed. It'll drive your ills away. A little small dose taken in the morning and another noon at night. Why, you'll feel so well, you want to yell. Woo! The stuff will make you right. Because it's made out of herbs, roots, sparks, and berries, and gathered from many parts of the globe and blended into one mild yet effective tonic laxative. It's good for the entire family, the old folks, kids, and all. And it's sold on a money back guarantee. Yes, siree. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And old Doc's got done sold out again. So long, everybody. All right. <laughs> A bisexual couple talks about life between the gay and straight worlds tomorrow on Today.